Before I start with this video, I want to say RIP to Speaker Knockers, man. A lot of y'all clicking on this video probably don't know who Speaker Knockers is. You know what I'm saying? Because we are definitely moving into a whole different generation of music. But this rapper right here is so influential, man. It's crazy. The run he had with dropping tapes in 2013 was crazy. crazy. Who wasn't playing Rico Story? Who wasn't playing Dap You Up? Who wasn't playing Lonely? But with all this influence and some of the best music during that time, it all came to an end in March 6th of 2014. At the age of 19, Speaker Knockers sadly passed away. And the thing that really came carried his career is that all those big rappers knew about him. When he was hot, he was definitely known. You can go to his catalog right now and there's songs out there that I will still play to this day, like Erica Kane. That's why you might see random videos about him and people talking about him randomly because his legacy was really strong. Here's the thing, nobody's seen this coming. I'm not sure why this happened. About two days ago, there were rumors that the management team of Speaker Knockers were working on some instrumental album, right? And you already had a couple people that was like a little skeptical because it's been 10 years. Why would they just now do this? And there were some people that didn't think too much about it because it's just like, we all knew that Speaker Knockers could make some good beats. So I'm all for it. But when this album dropped called The Goats, with all these instrumentals, you had people going crazy and mad at the management team because I'm gonna just let y'all hear one of these beats. <laughs> So imagine a whole tape like that. Speaker Knockers definitely had some cool beats back then, but it's just like, bro, are you serious? See, there's two things wrong with this situation. The management team not only ruined his legacy, everything should have stopped after Married to the Money, bro. Right after that, bro. That was it, man. We didn't need none of this. Now you got people going crazy on these social media platforms, and they looking at this management team as clowns. And it's also morally wrong, because you knew what y'all was doing. Y'all knew what y'all was doing with this, bro. Did y'all want new engagement from this? What exactly did y'all want to do here with this? And not only that, why is it titled The Goat with these type of beats? What is going on here. Speaker Knockers would never do something like this, bro. You got people making memes out of this and stuff like that, bro. And that's very expected. The management team is definitely wrong for this. And if you watching this video, don't go listen to that album. Trust me. Just proceed on with your day, gang. Just know that whole album is full of bad instrumentals, okay? Shit don't even sound like Speaker Knockers. If somebody managed to make a song on one of those beats, trust me, I would be very, very surprised. But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments right now. But it's D-U-T-I-E. I'm not sister myself for no bitch. Don't forget to follow my kick and my IG right now. But I love y'all so much. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. I've been pouring up, I'm moving.